Hey guys, welcome to UIC Baseball. I'm Joe, center fielder, sophomore. I'm Zenon. I'm also an outfielder and I'm a senior. Come on, let's try it out. It's most fitting to start here. Uh, this is Curtis Granderson's first uh, Major League Baseball jersey. Um, for those of you who don't know what Curtis Granderson is, he's a All-American alumni that plays for currently the Mets. He's been on the Tigers, the Yankees, and over here we got um, just a picture of Curtis on graduation day, um, just showing that he graduated as a double major in business management and business marketing. This is the Curtis Granderson Lounge. Um, obviously none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for Curtis, so we're obviously grateful for the donation that he did give. This is a this is a very important room to us. I mean, guys are constantly in here, uh, whether it's watching analysis on their swing, watching TV, or they just come in here to relax, take a nap, or anything like that. Over here is one of the pretty much the like main part of our program. Head coach Mike D is really put in our heads that if we live by this creed, we'll always be successful, whether it's baseball or life. This is where Strictly Business happens. This is our uh, head coach Mike D's office. This is the, uh, the golden shovel that uh, broke ground when we opened up the new stadium. And if you look up here, this is the main reason why we're here. We're trying to win championships. And as you can see in the past, um, we've gone to plenty, plenty of different regionals, and we've won many championships. We're gonna do something not many people are gonna be able to say they've done. Just take a second. Take a second. <laughs> He's gonna kill you for that. Hopefully, he doesn't make me run on Monday for this. I even think he sleeps here some nights. Yeah, I think some nights we've seen him taking a nap on that couch with a nice blanket and pillow yeah. in the morning. So you know he. Uh, it's a nice office, but you know he deserves it with all the time and work he puts in. Now we're going to show you our uh, academic center, poor center. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it's not an accident that it's strategically placed right across from Mike's office with a big window in his vision. So you know if anyone's ever screwing around in there, he'll, he'll get it. Now we're going to show you the academic board center. Uh, some guys in here right now on a Saturday: Mickey, Brett. What's up? Guys, yeah. Let's get yeah, for Big finance exam coming up on Monday. So, yeah, we're going to work right now. These are two of the guys that are in here the most, I would say, out of every day. Seems so, I'm not right. surprised to see them in here. Three words right here on the wall is kind of what we base our program off of. Uh, we want to be selfless, we want to be relentless and excellent. And we really stress both on and off the field. This is a view from inside the study center. Uh, there's Mike's office across the way. So roles are kind of reversed. He thinks he can see us, but we can actually see him too. <laughs> this hallway kind of just displays the uh, past alumni we've had. Um, on this wall right here, we have pictures of some past players who uh, graduated, won a championship, and went on to play professional baseball. Um, as you can see, Curtis is right here. Now we're going to take you inside our assistant coach's office, John Flood. Coach Flood is our uh, pitching coach and recruiting coordinator. So he's kind of, if he's not in here, he's always traveling, looking at new players that can uh, help our team out in the future. And right here, we also got all the depth charts, all the organization for how everything's mapped out in the team, position-wise, and, you know, who's going to play where. Zenon is higher than me on the depth chart for some reason. I don't know why I've talked to Flo about that, but this is where everything is, stays organized and they classify everybody as a like, you know, runner, a header, and whatever so that they can stay organized. This is Coach Flood's uh, personally favorite picture. Um, he, always, he always is bragging to us about this because he was mainly a pitcher. And I think he holds currently a career batting average of a thousand. Yeah, he does. One at bat. So that's something that Flood takes pride in. <laughs> well, we just want to thank you guys for coming out and uh, letting us show you around. We'll see you guys later. Oh, see you later.